Is that blood? No, never mind. What am I to do? Assume nothing. Can't slow down. I should speak up. You! Not another step, hear me? Boss! Got company up here! What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. case come on you lot no point in getting killed second worm gets the cheese and all um second mouse gets the cheese no nobody's getting any damn cheese now move it it would have been quicker to kill them Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Don't linger. Let's find some prey. inside. The air 
stale. It's been centuries since any prayers disturbed it. Who are those prayers for? Normally the patron god is obvious. Not here. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Open up. better position. Clear off! We got here first! My path be true.
Sounds like fun. Swift and lethal. No time to waste. Make way. some punishment. What path lies before me? Lazel has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it.
lies within. A crypt. What riches might it contain? These scribes were armed, for all the good it did them. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Worship the scribe of the dead. them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. The only way out is through. What do I have to lose? <laughs>
up. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. What's in here? Breathe deep and move. My energy. Time to rest. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Though he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. 
Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Because that would be senseless. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? I am sure thou believest as such. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. How much further can I go? How comforting after all this time. Let's have a look. What a mess. Cursed to put my hands on everything. Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. Something the matter. Maybe I need more pockets. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. the lock opens, weak magic pulses from the book. Such a waste, binding it to dry, dead parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. This way. 
I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Is that real? It doesn't look real. You are unable to see. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Oh, I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return.
Seems like a good moment to talk. A monster forms inside us, and you think to be idle. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. If not over, then through. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. Be assured, it is not by choice. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. What were you two talking about? I see. I'd be careful with Lazel. She's not of this world. I'd be surprised if our interests remained aligned. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Something good here. <laughs> <laughs> 